Hello! Welcome to part two of the Introduction to Proofs video for inverse functions. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. In this video, we'll look at a second, more complicated example of how to find the inverse of a function. So let's consider the function h from the reals except minus 1 to the reals except 1 defined by this fraction, h of x is x over x plus 1. I claim that this function is a bijection. Let's go through the steps one by one. So first let's show that it's one to one. How do we show this? Well, suppose we have two equal outputs. Our goal is to show that the inputs are the same. Take a moment to complete this right now uh, before I finish it. So if h of a is equal to h of b, we get that these two fractions are equal. That's what happens when you plug them into the function. Now our goal is to show that a is equal to b, so let's cross multiply. Expand it out, and then we can cancel these two terms, and we're left with just a equals b. So there, we've shown that the function is an injection. Now let's compute its inverse. Part of the way we're going to do this is we're going to isolate for x in terms of y, which is sort of backwards from the way that we're used to. We're going to, going to write x as a function of y. So start with the original function and now isolate for x. So we multiply out and then we're going to want to group all the x's together. Now we move our y x over and then we factor out our x and we can divide by 1 minus y. So what we're left with is the inverse function. The way you get x from y is by taking this function. Now we have one last step. Let's show that our function is onto. How do you show that a function is onto? Well, you take something from the codomain, which in this case was the reals minus one, and our goal is to find an x that outputs it. Now we've actually already done most of this work. It turns out that the x you want is the inverse function. That's exactly what the inverse function does. So part of our, uh, our work that we did for finding the inverse is going to be helpful here for showing that it's onto. I'll leave as an exercise for you to show that this x is actually in the domain of h. So now we have to do the dirty work, which is plug in this x so if you plug in this x into our function h, you get this horrible mess. And after doing some Herculean work, you'll end up with that it just outputs y. So this particular x outputs just y. Now let's take some time to reflect. What's the role of the horizontal line test and the vertical line test in finding the inverse of a function? What's the difference between f of f inverse of y and f inverse of f of x. How does finding the inverse of a function relate to showing that it is surjective? Thank you very much and have a great day.